Hey guys, we're back again and in this video we're going to be talking about driver spacing and in this case in an MTM configuration. How do we figure out the spacing between each and every one of the drivers? So what is an MTM? An MTM configuration is exactly what you see here. It's actually what you see in most center channel speakers. You also see them in tower speakers and also bookshelf speakers. But it's this type of speaker arrangement where you have a mid-range, a tweeter, and a mid-range. Now an MTM configuration can both be horizontal like we have shown here, or it can be vertical flipped around. Now most people don't even think about where their speakers can be. So if you have a large baffle like this, they might just think, well, let's space them out where they look nice and not realize that it could actually affect their frequency response by spacing them too far apart. And so that's what we're gonna be talking about today is how do we actually space this correctly? So the first thing we need to know is the frequency at which we plan to cross these speakers over. Now you don't need to know the exact frequency, but you need to know close enough. So if you're gonna be crossing over at 2500 hertz or there around, you need to know that. If you know that you're gonna be crossing over around 4000, 1500, whatever, you need to figure that out. Now here's the reason why. Every frequency has a wavelength associated with it. The smaller the frequency, the larger the wavelength. And so a 1500 hertz frequency has a much larger wavelength than say a 4000 hertz frequency. Now believe it or not, that actually makes a huge difference in driver spacing. So let's go ahead and talk about that. There's a couple magic numbers that you're gonna want to know in order to figure out your driver spacing. And the first one is 13,550. That's basically the speed of sound through air at room temperature. Now we need to know this in order to get the wavelength of our crossover point. So let's just assume that we're gonna be crossing over around 1800 hertz. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take 13,550 and we're gonna divide it by 1800. Now that's gonna give us our answer in inches. For all those people out there that might be using centimeters, just multiply it by 2.54 and you'll get that in centimeters then. So when we divide 13,550 by 1800 hertz, you're gonna see that we have seven and a half inches. Now seven and a half inches is the maximum driver spacing that you should have. So basically you should keep your driver spacing one wavelength from each other. Now, what do we mean by that? Does that mean seven and a half inches from here to here? Or does that mean, you know, seven and a half inches from here to here? What does, where does the seven and a half inches come from? Well, we're gonna be using what we call CTC. And CTC stands for center to center spacing. So we're gonna take the center of the mid range, the center of the tweeter. Now, it's important to note that that is the maximum you should put it out. So seven and a half inches is the, the maximum it should be. You can go seven inches, you can go six and a half, you can even go six inches if you want to. So that's gonna be your spacing. Now, I will give you a couple tips right here. This, to find the center of the center is pretty easy in here. What I strongly suggest is that people download SketchUp. SketchUp is a free program to use. It's very simple and you can actually put in the size drivers where you're at and you get a measurement tool that can actually show you exactly what the center to center spacing is. So why is driver spacing so important? Well, driver spacing is so important because if you don't space them properly, you can actually create nulls inside your frequency response, which you do not want. So it's important to get proper spacing. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps other people see this video and always share the video as well with anyone that you think might find this useful. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new and feel free to check out any of the ways to connect with me, which are down in the description below. Thanks, guys.